Well, hello and welcome to our second Friday night sing-along. Last Friday night we did our first one and I must tell you I was overwhelmed at the response. Uh, we had people from all around the world. I, I, I hesitate to name a few places because I, I know I'll leave some out. I, I don't remember all of them, but Malaysia, Kenya, India, Australia, the UK, the Philippines, uh, Canada, the United States, of course, because that's, that's where I, I come from. But I, the response was just, uh, it, it was more than I expected. And I want to thank all of you for that. Everybody seemed to enjoy it. And one feature that I didn't really think about, in when, when you're doing a live stream, you also have a live chat that goes on beside the picture. And everybody got into that. They, uh, they were meeting each other and they were talking to people around the world and we were communicating and uh, it, it was just really nice. And, and it, it turned out to be uh, such that at the end of the program, I just left the chat going for a while and several people commented that they really liked being able to talk after it was over with like that. So I'm learning as I go. From now on, we'll leave the chat room open however long people want to hang around for lack of a better way to put it. <laughs> but uh, I, I, was, I was encouraged by that. And of course, even though it is a live stream, I, I am sitting there and I'm watching the computer and everything. The show is pre-produced. So wh what you're seeing is a pre-produced uh, program, but the stream is live and, and I'm sitting there and I'm, I'm able to interact with you. And I kind of like it that way because I can do my studio ma magic that way. If it was truly live, it, 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 I could not make it as interesting. Uh, there's a reason when you see these TV shows at the end of the show, you'll have two or three pages of how many people worked on that show. There's a lot that goes on producing a show and there's, there's no way one person could do a live show without a whole lot of help. Uh, and since I, I don't have the luxury of that, I have to do it the way I do, but it works. And, and, uh, Everybody seemed to enjoy singing along. They enjoyed having the words on the screen. People commented about that. And people made requests for songs that they wanted to hear in the future. And a lot of the songs, if, if it's a song I've already recorded, I recorded about 62 songs back in the late 90s, uh, early 2000. And that's what I've been using for the music beds to my videos on YouTube. And that's what I also use for the music beds on, on this program that we're doing now. But I'm going to be recording some new music. I took about seven years off after I retired and did woodwork, and I loved woodwork. But, but the music bug never leaves you. And I just started getting hungry to do music again, and I found the avenue through YouTube. But uh, anyway, thank you all so much for, for being with us, and I hope you'll continue to enjoy it as long as people show up. As long as God gives me health, I'll keep doing it. For our first song tonight, we're going to do a song that a lot of the, these old songs, they didn't just happen, boom. You know, some of, now some of them did, but it wasn't where somebody just sat down and wrote the whole song out and boom, there it was. A lot of times it was, it was from folk melodies and some lyrics that had similar lyrics that would float around and then people would take it and do their version of it, so to speak. And this song is much like that. In fact, it was, it was known as a freedom song. Uh, it, was, it was used in the freedom movement uh, along the way, different versions of it. Uh, the early versions were, had the lyric, we shall not be moved. But in the, at the turn of the century, about 1905, 06, though there had been another version with a slightly different melody that had been uh, published a little bit earlier, a guy named John Benson somewhat finalized the version that we have today. And uh, other than that, I've not been able to find out much about the song, I guess because it, it has just sort of floated around in the past. It didn't have a definite beginning or a definite uh, ending or anything like that. So, but anyway, the song, that we, as we know, it was written by John Benson. And even so, uh, through the 40s and 50s and 60s, during the freedom marches and everything, a lot of the folk singers would sing this song. And they, they would go back and use the original lyrics, We Shall Not Be Moved. But the version we're going to do is John Benson's version. It's called, I Shall Not Be Moved. 
in the key of E. Jesus is my Savior, I shall not be moved. In His love and favor, I shall not be moved. Just like a tree that's planted by the waters, I shall not be moved. I shall not be, I shall not be moved I shall not be, I shall not be moved Just like a tree that's planted by the waters Lord, I shall not be moved In my Christ abiding, I shall not be moved In His love I'm hiding, I shall not be moved Just like a tree that's planted by the waters I shall not be moved I shall not be I shall not be moved I shall not be I shall not be moved Just like a tree That's planted by the waters Lord, I shall not be moved If I trust Him ever I shall not be moved He will fail me never I shall not be moved Just like a tree that's planted by the waters I shall not be moved I shall not be, I shall not be moved I shall not be, I shall not be moved Just like a tree that's planted by the waters Lord, I shall not be I shall not be moved He's the one that's leading I shall not be moved Just like a tree That's planted by the waters I shall not be moved I shall not be I shall not be moved I shall not be I shall not be moved Just like a tree That's planted by the waters Lord, I shall not be I shall not be, I shall not be moved I shall not be, I shall not be moved Just like a tree that's planted by the waters Lord, I shall not be moved I shall not be moved Lord, I shall not be For those of you who enjoy these great old gospel songs, I've put together a complete collection of all six of my gospel albums on three CDs. Most of the songs we'll be doing on the Friday Night Sing Along are contained in this collection. There are two complete albums on each CD, and this collection also contains a book with the words and the chord changes I use to play each of the 62 songs. Perfect for those that like to sing and play along. Just go to our website www.birdyolmans.com and click the My Music Store tab and this special offer will be at the top of the page. You can also email us directly if you prefer and that address is linda at birdyolmans.com You'll also find my individual CDs as well as DVDs of the Friday Night Sing-Along episodes. Now let's get back to some of that great old-time gospel music. Our next song tonight was written somewhere around 1860 by a fellow named Jefferson Haskell. He wrote a poem called My Latest Son is Sinking Fast, and then a fellow by the name of J.W. Dodman wrote a melody to it, and they, they published it in 1860, but it, it wasn't the melody that we know today. A fellow by the name of uh, William Bradbury wrote the version that, that we now know, and it was published around 1862. Uh, Bradbury called it the land of Beulah, but it wasn't too long. You know, most of the time, like I was saying about one of the songs I did last week, most of the time the title of a song is somewhere in the song. 
I only know of, of A Beautiful Life being, that's the only song I know of that the song title's nowhere in the song. But it wasn't long before, instead of it being called The Land of Beulah, it came to be known as Angel Band. In the movie, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou?, the Stanley Brothers did a bluegrass version of this, and although my music is not true bluegrass, it does have bluegrass elements to it. I, I use banjo and I use mandolin when, when I feel it's called for in the song. You know, I don't always use those. I, I don't know if you can put me in any one category. I'm not country, I'm not bluegrass, I'm not rock, I'm gospel. But it's, it's whatever comes to me. I guess God lays it on my heart what to play, and I just I sit there and figure out the parts and uh, depending on the song it could have any combination of instruments in it but anyway uh, Johnny Cash did a version of the song I mean it just goes on I mean the list is long a lot of gospel singers have done this song uh, but anyway tonight we're going to do it and it's called Angel Band in the Key of G My race is nearly run My strongest trials now are past My triumph is begun Oh, come, angel band Come and around me stand Oh, bear me away on your snow my eternal home Oh, bear me away on your snowy wings To my eternal home I've almost gained my heavenly home my spirit loudly sings The holy ones, behold they come I hear the sound of wings Oh, come, angel band Come and around me stand Oh, bear me away on your snow life for me His love has cleansed me from my sins and gives me victory Oh, come angel band Come and around me stand Oh, bear me away on your snowy wings to my My eternal home 
Now we are in the Christmas season right now, so I thought I, I might ought to do you a Christmas song. So this next song was written in 1818 by, the poem was written by a man named Moore. These people were from Austria and uh, the music was written by Franz Gruber. They, they put the song out, back then publishing was a little different than it is now and there, there was no uh, social media or television or radio or anything like that and the way songs got carried around would, would be by folk singers, uh, sometimes they were solo singers, sometimes they were a group. But there were two groups that really popularized this song. There was one group called the Strassers and there was another group called the Rainers. And they sung it around Europe, uh, sung it for some pretty important people, some, some kings and queens and uh, the, uh, the head of Russia really liked this song. It was said to be his favorite song. And I, I don't recall, I think his name was Franz. I, I, I'm not remembering this fully, but anyway, the, the, whoever was head of Russia at that time. And the early melody was just slightly different than what we know today. And I, I looked at both melodies and it's really close. It, I was going to sing you the difference <laughs> between the two, but it would be hard for me to differentiate it for you, you know. Uh, that silent night. This is the two little notes right there. And the version we know is simply silent night. It goes straight to the note. Almost no difference, you know. But anyway, they did point that out in the reference that I was reading. Uh, but anyway, so by 1840, the melody was pretty much like we know now. And in 1859, a fellow named John Young did the English translation that we are familiar with today, and it pretty much was set by then. In 1935, Bing Crosby recorded it, and it became the fourth best-selling single of all time. And of course, no telling how many people have recorded it since then. Uh, everybody you can think of, from country artists to gospel artists to whoever. But anyway, we're going to do it for you tonight. It's called Silent Night in the Key of G. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin mother and child.
Savior is born Christ the Savior is born The next song we're going to do tonight was written by a fellow named Johnson Oatman. He wrote the words in 1897, and a fellow by the name of Edwin Excel wrote the music for it. Johnson uh, was raised in Lumberton, New Jersey, and his father was well known as probably the best singer in town, and, and Johnson always wanted to sort of follow in his father's footsteps, but along the way he began to realize he didn't quite have the voice his daddy had, but he still wanted to do something in music. And so he worked in his daddy's uh, uh, business for a while, and he uh, actually studied the ministry and, and was a minister for a while. But he kept wanting to do something with music, and by the time he was in his 30s, he began to realize that God had given him a musical gift. It wasn't of singing, it was of writing songs. And in his lifetime, he wrote some 5,000 songs, one of them being Higher Ground. But... Uh, in, in the world that we live in now, America is so blessed. We have, we're the land of plenty. And sometimes the things that we complain about are meaningless to other people in the world. We don't realize how, how blessed we are sometimes. And uh, we, we should be thankful for those things. And a lot of times, uh, if you will, instead of counting sheep at night, if you'll count your blessings, you might be surprised <laughs> and instead of how bad we have it, how good we have it, you know. But anyway, he wrote a song called Count Your Blessings, and uh, it didn't take long for it to become his, probably his most popular song. There were songs that he wrote that he liked better, but I think the world liked Count Your Blessings the best. But we're going to do our version of it for you tonight. It's called Count Your Blessings in the Key of A. When upon life's billows you are tempest-tossed When you are discouraged thinking all is lost Count your many blessings, name them one by one And it will surprise you what the Lord has done Count your blessings, name them one by one Count your blessings, see what God has done Count your blessings, name them one by one Count your many blessings, see what God has done Are you ever burdened with a load of care? Does the cross seem heavy you are called to bear? Count your many blessings, every doubt will fly and you will be singing as the days go by Count your blessings, name them one by one Count your blessings, see what God has done Count your blessings, name them one by one Count your many blessings, see what God has done When you look at others with their land and gold Think that Christ has promised you his wealth untold Count your many blessings money cannot buy Your reward in heaven or your home on high Count your blessings, name them one by one Count your blessings, see what God has done Count your blessings, name them one by one Count your many blessings, see what God has done So amid the conflict, whether great or small Do not be discouraged, God is over all Count your many blessings, angels will attend Help and comfort give you to your journey's end Count your blessings, name them one by one Count your blessings, see what God has done Count your blessings, name them one by one Count 
your many blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your many blessings, see what God has done. Now let me remind you once again. For those of you who enjoy these great old gospel songs, I've put together a complete collection of all six of my gospel albums on three CDs. Most of the songs we'll be doing on the Friday Night Sing Along are contained in this collection. There are two complete albums on each CD, and this collection also contains a book with the words and the chord changes I use to play each of the 62 songs. Perfect for those that like to sing and play along. Just go to our website www.birdyalmonds.com and click the My Music Store tab and this special offer will be at the top of the page. You can also email us directly if you prefer and that address is linda at birdyalmonds.com You'll also find my individual CDs as well as DVDs of the Friday Night Sing Along episodes. Thank you for being with us tonight. My, how the time flies when you're having fun. It's already time for our last song tonight. And I've chosen, this, th this song is, has, it's just one of those, kind of in the Amazing Grace category. Uh, everybody knows it. So many people have recorded it. George Jones, Allison Krauss, Alan Jackson, Chuck Wagon Gang. I, I, I could sit here for a long time telling you who all recorded the song before. But, uh, written by Albert Brumley. He wrote uh, Jesus Hold My Hand. He wrote uh, This World Is Not My Home. Uh, Turn Your Radio On. I mean, the list goes on. I think he wrote something like 600 songs that were published. No telling how many he wrote that weren't published. But nonetheless, let's just say he wrote a lot of songs and, and we know a lot of them. Uh, but this next song is probably his most popular song. It's recorded by a lot of people. Uh, he, he was in the cotton patch one day. This, this was about 1929. And he, was, he said he was humming the uh, words and the melody to a song known as the Prisoner's Song. And uh, there was some uh, phrase in there, something if I had the wings of an angel from these pri over these prison bars I would fly. And uh, he said he, he realized he could write a song and, and use the prison bars as a, an escape from the earthly life, you know. So he, he started writing the song in 1929, but it was really 1932 when he finally finished it up and it, it was in the form that it could be published, published and it's kind of the song that we know today. But it's that age-old favorite called I'll Fly Away in the Key of E. is over, I'll fly away to that home on God's celestial shore, I'll fly away, I'll fly away, oh glory, I'll fly away, when I die, hallelujah, by and This life I've grown, I'll fly away Like a bird from the prison bars has flown I'll fly away I'll fly away, oh glory I'll fly away When I die, hallelujah by and by, I'll fly away. Just a few more weary days and then I'll 
Well, that's our program for tonight. I hope you've enjoyed it. But be before I go, I would like to thank my wife, Linda. She's been so much help to me over the years. Uh, she was my manager, for, well, still is, uh, for all the years I was traveling and, and, and when I was doing gospel music. And she's always been my promoter, and I, I just appreciate her so much for that. But she's created a Facebook page for us. And uh, I'll put a link to it below if you want to go over and, and follow us on Facebook. We, we would uh, be glad for you to do that. And you'll be able to find out more stuff about us and that sort of thing. Um, you can also email her at linda at birdyelmans.com. And something uh, I mentioned it, I believe, at the top of the program, but we're going to leave the chat room open for a while. Everybody seemed to in enjoy chatting with e each other last week and getting to know each other. And uh, we'll uh, we'll leave that open for ho however long enough people want to stay with us. And, and as long as the chat is interesting and uh, everybody's interested in, in hang hanging out, so to speak, uh, we'll leave the chat room open for you. But thank you so much for being with us tonight. And I'll look forward to seeing you next Friday night at 8 o'clock. <laughs>